The good news is that Nikki's letting me see Phoenix because it's Easter time, resurrection, but I'm in Philadelphia. So this is not a brand new idea. <laughs> Knoxville and Tremaine made me sign this basically a death waiver. Have you ever had an argument with a friend? One you would have gone to bat for and yet something happened to make you wonder if you could trust them again? It's okay if the answer is yes, because sometimes that happens with friends. The question, as is always the case, is how will you handle it? In the case of Bam Margera, he has a very rough way of handling his friends, and he's never afraid to get loud and obnoxious about it. If you don't believe us, just look at what he's doing now with Johnny Knoxville. We'll break it down for you. But first, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks Thanks for watching and good luck. The boxing match. So this is not a brand new idea. <laughs> Knoxville and Tremaine made me sign this basically a death waiver. Bam Margera is still holding grudges against Johnny Knoxville. Two years after being kicked out of Jackass Forever for breaking his sobriety, the stunt performer has accused his former co-star of hooking him with 18 medications that allegedly caused him permanent damages. In a video posted on his Instagram story on late Monday night, Bam sent a disturbing invite to Johnny. challenging him to a boxing match in his attempt to get revenge. He initially wanted to send the message to Jackass creator Jeff Tremaine, but claimed that Jeff is too much of a pussy to fight him, so this is not a brand new idea. Knoxville and Tremaine made me sign this basically this death waiver to take 18 medications that made me a zombie, the troubled star said in the video. He claimed that the meds affected his performance. and led to weight gain, among other things. I couldn't get my card. I couldn't f my own wife. I couldn't get muscles. Bald hair, fat weight gain, he added. Jeff Tremaine is too much of a to get in the ring with me. Knoxville, he said if I double dog dare anything, he'll do it. So he launched the fight invite. So Knoxville. Bald hair, fat, get weight gain, motherfuckers. Jeff Tremaine is too much of a to get in the ring with me. I double dog dare you to get in the ring with me without any boxing gloves, so I can ring 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 one two three. Let's go! I f you up. Let's go, pussy. Oh, if you call him a pussy, he really gets mad. And sadly, that's not the latest thing to go on with Bam Margera. So what did he do before this that got him in trouble? Well, it didn't have to do with a friend this time. It had to do with his former partner and mother of his child. The arrest and tirade. Bam Margera was arrested for public intoxication a few days ago after causing a scene at a Burbank Thai food restaurant where his estranged wife, Nikki Boyd, was eating with their five-year-old son, Phoenix. The incident was caught on video and shows an obviously distressed Bam screaming at his estranged partner, and it appears he's upset because she's not allowing him to spend time with their five-year-old son. But Knoxville, if I double dog dare him, he says if I double dog dare anything, he'll do it. So. Knoxville, I double dog dare you to get in a ring with me without any boxing gloves. Phoenix, the disturbing video was obtained by TMZ and posted to their website on March 31st. Margera can be seen yelling at Boyd and causing a disturbance in the restaurant. He appears to be upset that she's not allowing him to spend time with their son and tells her that Phoenix has his own mind. Margera can be seen stomping on the ground and shouting at Boyd to let him have his own mind. Per the report released by Burbank police, they responded to the exotic Thai cuisine restaurant on North San Fernando Boulevard just before 4 p.m. So I could ring, 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 one, two, three, let's go. I f you up. Let's go after receiving reports of a verbal disturbance. Upon arrival, officers reportedly found the jackass star in a heated argument with a woman, and he appeared to be unable to keep it together thanks to being heavily intoxicated, resulting in his arrest. Luckily for everyone involved, the situation didn't escalate beyond a verbal dispute. Restaurant patrons on the scene told the outlet that the Viva La Bam star entered the restaurant by himself, approached the table where Nikki and Phoenix were sitting, and began speaking with them for quite a while before something caused him to lose his temper. 
Oh, if you're going with then he really gets mad. This marks the second arrest this month for the skater. The events that transpired in the restaurant come on the heels of a recent domestic violence arrest. Though Marger maintains his innocence, police were called to a home in Escondido, California over a domestic dispute. The good news is that Nikki's let me see Phoenix because it's Easter time, resurrection, but I'm in Philadelphia. And a woman who said she lived with Margera claimed he kicked her. Based off this information, authorities took the television star into custody. He got out and wasn't charged. But it only harps on how much of a danger Bam is in his current state. Which is why some of his friends, the ones who have remained, are trying to get him help. Steve-O talks Bam. But why can't Knoxville step into a ring with me? You do every other stunt, get into a ring with me let's go what is your excuse let's go in february steve-o had been with bam as part of a comedy tour but things soon went south and so he made this post and basically begged bam to get better bam last night you had your five-year-old son with you on stage at my show and you were blessed with the chance to spend another day or two with him then as soon as you left my show you stayed up all night getting loaded this comment on bam's instagram because i was just like like I had just had him on tour with me for for ten days. We did nine shows together. He he, he was really pretty great the whole time. Stevo said, "You say you want to have a relationship with your son, but your actions guarantee the exact opposite will happen. I brought you on tour with me in hopes that I could get you to see what's possible for you if you choose recovery." He's funny. He's fun. He was a he was yeah. a good guest. Right, and. The, the last, the whole time, he was telling me, like, dude, will you reach out to, to Nikki, his, his wife, his baby mama? Steve-O continued, the comedian said he's tried everything he can to get through to his friend, but I can't force you to get honest and do the work of recovery. Steve-O added, I wish you could know how much I've hated feeling braced for news of your death, but you're making it clear that I have no other choice. You're dying, brother, and it sucks that I can't do anything to save you. We reach out to Nikki and see if we, if I can spend the day with Phoenix. You know, I want to see Phoenix because where our last show of that run happened to be Santa Rosa, California, which is super close to where Nikki was, and and his son was. So like that, that was it was like this whole leg of the tour, ten days. In a recent episode of his Wild Ride podcast, Stevo said that he has talked to Bam since then but that certain things Steve-O suggested has fallen on deaf ears. It's sad to hear that Steve-O tried to save his friend, and his friend won't let himself be saved. And yet that seems to be his M.O. With Bam doing all these stunts, including getting a tattoo of his son's name over his eye just to spite his partner, one has to wonder what the endgame is for all of this. Is Bam just spinning his wheels? Or does he really think that all of this is going to get him what he wants? Sadly, we're going to have to wait to find out. And there you have it, everyone. A look at what Bam Margera has done, and how this is just the latest in a long pattern of how he treats those close to him. Are you stunned by what he's done? Do you think he'll do another stunt like this and point the blame at people other than himself? Is there any way Bam can be saved from his actions? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.